The clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Chavant. Hi everybody, I'm back to work on this. I'm going to work on these two figures that aren't uh, actually started yet, the back figures. We'll see how far we get. Next best thing to do is start adding clay. Sorry, I didn't realize my camera hadn't uh, been on. I hate that when that happens. The problem with uh, filming yourself is you don't always know what the camera's doing or where it's aimed. The hands I'll uh, work on more at the end rather than now. If I work on them now, they'll get all screwed up when I bump into them and change things around. So that's why I'm not paying much attention to the hands right now on any of the figures. All I'm trying to do is plot them in and see how it looks and I just may do the hands out of wax because the fact that uh, I can do a delicate hand this small a lot easier in wax than I can in clay Every once in a while you gotta clean off your cutting board with a little lighter fluid. What that lighter fluid does is it uh, melts the clay. And I'm not sure exactly why, it might be something in the clay. Well obviously it's something in the clay. But you gotta clean off your cutting board every once in a while or else your clay sticks to it.
I can't really put clay on this base yet. And so I can't work on his feet. Because I've got to reattach this to the uh, main platform. And that's where the screw goes in. So I'm going to just wait on that. I got more work to do on his face, but I'll do that as time goes by. Next time I work uh, on this figure. Yeah. The, the key is to make it look good from every angle. And that's the hard part. I'll adjust these figures a little bit too as time goes on, but uh, right now I'm pretty satisfied. I need to close up these two figures somehow. I'm not sure exactly how, but I'll figure something out. All right, that's going to be it. And uh, see you next time. Happy sculpting. Till then.